Okay, so the you know what is about to hit the fan. Last week, the Federal Trade Commission sent warning letters to 10 network marketing companies for health and earnings claims that their distributors are making related to the corona virus. And these are not small fly-by-night companies. These are household names that almost all of you have probably heard of, companies like Rodan and Fields, Arbon, and doTERRA. So these warning letters that were sent out last week specifically say that they want the companies to remove and address claims that their participants are making about their product's ability to treat or prevent coronavirus disease or about the earnings people who have recently lost income can make or both. And here's the craziest part about all of this. In the FTC letters to these companies, they literally had the posts that distributors made, examples of posts in the letters. And boy, oh boy, were there some good ones. I'll tell you, network marketers just never let me down when it comes to what they want to post on social media. How about this little gem here? Got the coronavirus heebie-jeebies? Boost your immunity with this amazing deal. Or even better, how about this one? You know, I was going to ask who wants to earn $500 from their phone, but screw that. Who wants to learn how to make a $15,000 bonus? Hashtag go big. Hashtag end stay home. Seriously, like really, people? Like this is the stuff that you're posting on your Facebook page thinking that this is going to get people to want to buy from you and join your business? Just stop. Just please stop. And I know I'm having a little bit of fun with you here because this stuff is like, you can't make this stuff up. But here's the reality. This is a serious issue. And the reason why I made this video today is because of this. I want you to realize if you are in the network marketing profession, the biggest threat to your business right now is not the coronavirus. It's not record unemployment numbers. And it's not a pending recession or depression. The biggest threat to your business right now today is what the people in your downline are posting on social media. And if we don't come together as a profession, as leaders of people that are doing it the right way, if we don't come together and make a stand and start policing ourselves, we're in big trouble. So I wanted to shoot this video today to really dig deep into this subject. And for any of you that are in network marketing that hear about this and might get scared about you know, even posting or doing or saying the right thing, I want to help you understand what this means to you so that you can protect your business, your company, and make sure you're doing the right thing. So stick around. All right, so let's take a closer look at what does this mean for you? Let's dig into all the juicy details. And hey, by the way, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Bob Heilig, your virtual upline. We specialize in leadership development for network marketing professionals. And the reason why I mentioned that starting out with this video is because I think what we're dealing with right now is really a call for leaders to step up. I think this is a clear sign that we need more leaders in the network marketing profession doing the right thing, leading by example, and teaching others to do the same. So what I want you to understand is this. What's happening right now with the coronavirus and all this FTC stuff that just went down last week, this is serious stuff for our profession. And you as a business owner need to be paying very close attention to this because here's what I can almost guarantee you. If you've got a team of any size, this is most likely happening right now in your downline. So let's take a look at the actual warning letters that were sent out by the FTC, and let me break this down for you. So the press release was posted last Friday, April 24th, on the FTC's website. And just to be clear, this is in no way an indictment of the actual companies that were named, because these letters were sent out in response to what independent distributors actions that they took on social media in these companies. And let's be fair for a second. They probably could have sent the letters to pretty much every single company out there today based off what I see happening on social media. But these were the 10 companies that were specifically named 
in the letters. And as you can see, these are some household names, billion dollar companies. There were companies that were cited for both health and earnings claims. There were companies that were cited for just earnings claims. And there was one company that was cited specifically just for health related claims. And in the press release, you can actually click on the company and see the actual letter that was sent to them last week. And I'd like to highlight some of the verbiage that was sent in these letters. And I'd like to break this down for you because this is really important for all of us to understand. So one of the things that I like to call to your attention is this. The letter states that it is unlawful under the FTC Act to advertise that a product can prevent, treat, or cure human disease unless you possess competent and reliable scientific evidence, including, when appropriate, well-controlled clinical studies. And here's the thing. Look, if your company's got a clinical study that was done proving that your product can treat an illness or disease or the symptoms of, then great. But most of you don't have that. So you got to be very careful. And I'll tell you, the first issue that I'd like to tackle are health claims. This is a very dangerous area for many of you, especially if you are in a product-based network marketing company that has products that help people with their overall health. And the mistake that so many people make is when they're sharing their personal stories on social media, they share how taking the product helped treat symptoms of illnesses or diseases that magically went away. They talk about how in some cases even cured their disease, whether they explicitly say that or they just kind of hint towards it. And I'm telling you, if you're doing this, you need to stop. It is a huge issue in the FTC's eyes. And here's where this becomes frustrating. I get it. For some of you, that might actually be true. You might be like, yeah, but Bob, that's what happened. And I get it. But here's what I want you to get. You can't share that on social media. You cannot make unsubstantiated health claims about your products. You are putting your business at jeopardy. You are putting your companies at jeopardy, which means not just your business, but thousands of other people's businesses. And long term, you're putting our profession in jeopardy. So you just can't do it. So that means you can't say stuff like this. Now, mind you, these are actual posts from real people that were in the FTC letters. How about this one? With all the concerns over the coronavirus, instead of stockpiling toilet paper, you need to do something to help you fight the virus. Boost your immune system with our immunity boost pack. It gets even better. How about this one? Boost up your immune system. Don't get caught out there and hashtag Corona grab a hold of you. All right, so now let's cover income claims. This is another very tricky area for network marketers. And here's why, because so many people operate under the false assumption that the only way they can get someone to join their business or see value in what they do is if I just keep reminding you how successful I am and how much money I make or how much money you could make if you join my team. Well, here's what the FTC has to say about that. So in the warning letters that were sent to these companies, they say express and implied earnings claims must be truthful and non-misleading to avoid being deceptive, which means that claims about the potential to achieve a wealthy lifestyle, career level income, or significant income are false or misleading if business opportunity participants generally do not achieve such results. So what does that mean? What can we pull from that statement as an independent business owner? You cannot ever mention any specific income that either you are making or that you are promising someone else can make in a social media post without some kind of income disclaimer. What that means is basically saying that not everybody does that. You know, the whole results are not typical kind of thing. Look, every single network marketing company publishes 
an income disclosure statement with real life statistics about how many people make money and how much money they make. Look, they do that for a reason because it's a federal guideline. The FTC requires them to do that, but nobody really ever uses it. But here's where we run into trouble. Anybody can go to social media and post whatever they want. And as I was going through these warning letters, there's example after example. It's all the same stuff when it comes to the income claims, right? It's make an extra $500 a month. I earn this much money. I'm going to get a bonus. You know, it's over and over again. It's the same pattern of things. And you just have to realize the FTC has very strict guidelines in this area. Here's my advice. Use common sense, right? You should not be posting a copy of your check on social media. You should not be posting a copy of your bank statement. You should not be telling people the thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars, I'm going to be a millionaire someday. You should not be doing that. But it gets even trickier because if you notice, they said both express and implied earnings claims. So an implied earnings claim is where you don't mention a specific dollar amount but you imply the fact that people can make money by joining you. And this is gonna, just so you know, it's gonna be even more confusing for you, but I wanna give you an example of what they consider to be an implied earnings claim. So this is one of the posts that was in one of the warning letters. We all need something to fall back on when our plan A crumbles. For many, the plan A is no longer providing. Given that we all are at home trying to manage this new normal, Let's chat and get all your questions answered and start getting that plan B up and running extra income. So look, no specific mention of a dollar amount, but there's an implied earnings claim there. Once again, this was flagged by the Federal Trade Commission. And if you're doing this right now, if you're making these mistakes, I want you to understand you're putting your business at risk, you're putting your company at risk, which means You're putting thousands of other people's livelihoods and businesses at risk, and you're putting our profession at risk. And we just need to change. We need to be better. You just don't need to do this to get people to buy your products and join you in your business. So let's address this. There's probably a lot of you that are watching this right now that are in one of those 10 companies. Maybe you're feeling a little concerned. So let's talk a little bit about what this means for you. So it's important to understand first and foremost that these companies can and will be held liable if these issues continue to happen and go unaddressed. So let's refer to some of the language that was in the press release on the FTC's website last Friday. It says, reminding the companies that they are responsible for the claims made by their members and representatives. And they advise them that they must immediately cease making all claims that would be false or misleading. Look, almost every network marketing company has specifically in their distributor or rep agreements language prohibiting this type of behavior. So that means that if you're somebody that's doing this and you continue to do it, disregarding your company's training and the recommendations from other people in your upline, you risk losing your business. Because here's one thing I can promise you. If it's in the company's rep agreement that they can terminate you for doing this, they're not going to risk their business for you deciding that you want to go and post whatever you want on social media. You will lose your check. And it doesn't matter how big that check is. They've got grounds to terminate you. And look, I can almost guarantee you because I know these companies and I know they're great companies, they're already taking the measures, right? They're probably already going the extra mile, reminding you, telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. But obviously, there's a lot of people that are either not listening or they're just disregarding it. And here's the thing. They can't control what you post on your Facebook profile or your Instagram page. But here's what they can control whether or not they send you your check next month. So back to the question, why am I creating this video today? Because here's the thing, I know this video is gonna bring out the haters in droves. And I'm sure they're probably already in the comments doing what they do, trying to rain on everybody's parade. But here's the thing, I don't care. I could care less about the haters. I'm not making this video to try to justify our profession to people that want to downplay it or talk bad about it. I could care less. I'm not going to waste a single breath trying to do that. Here's who I did make it for. I created this video for those of you that are watching this video right now that are in this profession working hard every day, trying to improve yourself and create 
a better life for your family. You know, those of you that have a dream to do something bigger with your life, that have a burning desire to help people through your products and through your business opportunity, I just want you to realize social media is the best thing that's ever happened to your business if you know how to use it the right way. But it's also the biggest threat to the long-term viability of our profession that's ever existed because people can do and say whatever they want. And that means your business. When people post stuff like that on social media, they are potentially taking food off of your table. And you got to get angry about this and we got to come together and say no more. We got to do something. So the question is, what can we do? So I'm going to share with you three things right now that you can do to not be a part of the problem, to be part of the solution and change things for the better. The first thing is this, lead by example. Show people through your own actions what the right way to do this is. Now, you might be asking, well, Bob, what's the right way to do this? Well, look, I've done an entire video, another YouTube video called Love, Serve, Grow. And I'll link it at the end of this video, but you can also click on it. I'll put it, you'll see it right here at the top of the screen. But Love, Serve, Grow is a framework that I think is the winning formula on social media today. Here's what it says. Instead of leading with selling and recruiting all the time in your posts, trying to get from people, here's a novel idea. Why not try to give first, right? Why not try to add value to people's lives through your content instead of trying to take all the time? And here's what Love, Serve, Grow teaches us. If you lead with love and service instead of selling and recruiting, everything you want grows as a byproduct. The more you can love and serve, helping people, adding value to their lives, the more your income grows, the more your business grows, the more your happiness, fulfillment, joy, everything you want in life grows as a result of love and service. And here's what's so interesting. What I have found and what so many of you I know, the less you try to actually sell and recruit with your posts and you lead with what I'm teaching you, the more you actually sell and recruit. Look, if you know that to be true, if you are a network marketer that's already doing that, do me a favor, smash the like button on this video right now. And please leave me a comment. Say, yes, Bob, amen. I've been loving and serving, so I get it. I'd like to hear from you. Here's the second thing. Make sure you're teaching the right strategies. Look, I want you to realize this. As a leader, you have a responsibility to make sure that the people on your team are doing the right things. You've got to learn how to start teaching these strategies to your team. Here's what's so unfortunate. I know a lot of these people that are doing this stuff, they just don't know any better. It's not their fault because it's what their upline taught them to do. So you've got to break this pattern. Find out what are the guidelines that our company has. I'm going to demonstrate them first, and then I'm going to teach and train our team. Training in this area ongoing training about the do's and don'ts of posting on social media is one of the most important things that you can do, but I don't see a lot of network marketers doing that. And the third and the final thing that you should be doing is this, hold people accountable. Look, if you see someone in your downline, someone in your company, or someone that you're friends with in another company on social media, if you see them doing this stuff, you got to reach out and let them know. Now, here's the thing. Assume that they just didn't know any better but you have a responsibility to police this kind of stuff. Look, we we can't afford to just turn a blind eye anymore. Whether it's intentional and they realize it or not, the people that are doing this are destroying our profession. They are taking the opportunity from us and we gotta come together and we gotta take a stand. So, hey, do me a favor. If you know somebody that's in this profession, share this video with them. We need to spread this message to protect everything that we've worked so hard to create. And listen, if you're watching this video and you've been one of those people that's been making a mistake, look, you're not a bad person. Most likely, you just didn't know any better. But my sincere hope is that by watching this video, I open your eyes that maybe there's a different and a better way to do it. And if you're somebody that's already doing it the right way, if you're somebody that already represents everything that's good and right about this profession, I would love to hear from you. Do me a favor, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you would agree or disagree. Let's start a healthy discussion. And if you've got any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And hey, look, if you're new to my channel, Make sure you subscribe as your virtual upline. I create brand new training videos every single week. So, hey, thanks so much for your time, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.